Who ragged on him? You! Did I? You made a whole video about how I gave you a terrible haircut and the best haircut you ever got was in prison. So I commented on it and I said, well then you can go back to prison because I'm never cutting it again. Hey, uh, Cody. Hmm. I'm gonna drive today, brother. Take a breather. I read some comments yesterday on, yes, well, actually I think it might have been on Twitter or something because I, I tweeted to everyone saying, hey, I got my license. I did that this morning. And somebody was like, R.I.P. Cody. Cody's going to be looking for that pink slip. Cody, I just want to let you know, man. Just because I'm driving. Good Lord, you what you fly so fast down to a dead end for? Your job is secure, brother. You ain't got to worry about nothing. It's okay. And I told you this morning, too. I said, look, you know, this is going to get old to me real quick, this whole driving thing. But for the love of God, it's the first day that I've got my license. How does it feel, Cody, to be sitting over there on the passenger side? It's kind of a it's a bit weird to be holding the camera while we're driving. <laughs> if it was anything like it was in the past, that wouldn't be possible. You couldn't drive and hold the camera. <laughs> so, day one, this is the first day that I've had my license, or I'm having my license, and last night was my first uh, driving experience. So it was a monsoon, it was raining. I couldn't film this because it was me and my family in the car. I had me, my fiance, and my stepfather in, in, in the vehicle. And as soon as we left to go out to dinner for the families to meet each other, dude, it just started pissing down rain out here, right? Couldn't see hardly nothing. Glad to know the windshield wipers do work. But we get out onto the main road, not the actual main road, the road right before the main road, and there's a cop sitting right behind me. And I'm like, my God, if this isn't like the most ironic thing that could be happening right now. So he was right behind me. I wasn't even nervous. I mean, I got no reason to be nervous. And then I bust the turn and I kind of speed up a little bit because I want to get past some of the traffic. And he does the same exact thing. He stays right behind me. And I'm like, oh man, maybe this guy's following me. Maybe he's about to pull me over. I had no idea what was about to happen. The next light, I got to gun it a little bit more because now I'm trying to get on the interstate and there's a lot of traffic. So I gun it, I get over, no issues. That was so anticlimactic. <laughs> It was, but it was ironic. So anticlimactic, yeah, sure, but ironic for sure. It should have been. So I sped up to get on the interstate, and the cop came up and tried to okay. Here's maneuver. Me. Here's the ironic thing. One of the last times that I drove, let's talk about that, which was uh, when I got pulled over, which would lead to me serving seven years in prison. I sort of did the same thing. I had the cop behind me, and I sped up to try to get around a bunch of cars to get on the interstate, and the cop slammed on the brake to get on the interstate. And then he pulled me over. And last night that didn't happen. Hallelujah. But had this happened the night prior, because I was driving the night prior without a license because I had to get some experience. I had to get some experience driving this big truck because that's what I used to, to take the road test. Had that same thing happened last night and that cop would have been sitting behind me running these tags that are in my name with no license, you can bet your, you can bet your behind, you can bet them little junies. Oh, I'd have been getting pulled over. But now I'm legit, y'all. I'm legit! Hold on, Cody. It's about to get real, real quick. So today, it is um the day before my wedding. Wedding Eve. It is Royal Wedding Eve. I gotta get a haircut. I gotta get a pair of shoes. I gotta get all this alcohol to the venue. We got the rehearsal dinner tonight. My mother and my stepfather met my fiance's family. And then everyone else who, who came as well and that was really good but now my father's side of the family is going to be there tonight as well so it's going to be like doing this all over again having the families meet each other at the rehearsal there i got to check into a hotel tonight you guys have seen the hotel maybe they'll have that same couch in there and i'm going to be by myself because i can't see my fiance after after the rehearsal dinner i can't see her again until the wedding so, you know, I'm going to be super lonely at this hotel, and I hope you guys will stay with me. You guys down? Nobody's saying anything. Okay. All right, well, <laughs> so I'm going to be staying at the hotel probably by myself. Oh, you're talking to us. Yeah. I mean, I'd have everybody stay with me if if we could. All right, we're going to get this hair cut. Um, we got to go put the tarp on the boat. You guys don't even know what's up with the boat yet. That's going to be a video you guys are going to be seeing later. And uh, we got some other running around we got to do. We got to get some things. We got to get some things done, and we ain't got a lot of time. I get a divorce tomorrow. Do you really? Number three. No, I'm not divorced. Uh, I'm like, 
Somebody else, somebody else is waiting, okay? There's number four somewhere. That's what they say. I'm just joking. They come in threes, or was that with funerals? So I want to take the sides down. Uh, I mean, I, I really just got a haircut not too long ago. I got this little part in the side of my hair I want to try to clean up a little bit. Where's the part? So it's low, because I was going to try to let this stuff grow did into Did you do the... a part here and a part here? I don't want to do two parts. I did have one here in the past, but I'm going to use the low one, because I like the low one better. Okay. And I, eventually, I'd like to get my hair to grow back into where this part is at. So basically, you want to eventually get that to grow, but then yeah. put the part line right through there. Mm -hmm. Okay. But whatever I can do to try to clean this up just a little bit, maybe take just a little bit it's off. It's a little of, long. Look. Yeah. Just take a little bit off of the top. And uh, that's pretty much about it. We well, want to take like a half an inch off. I'll we'll uh, start from there, and then we can go more. Yeah, maybe a half an inch to an inch at the most, and that'll be about it. Do you prefer preference on your neckline, square, round? Uh, taper? Just taper up a little. I, I've been trying to get up just a little bit higher than what it normally is because I don't mm -hmm. like how low my. I think I got it good right now, so just wherever yeah. it's at right now. What do you think, Dave? That's a good idea. What we want to about? <laughs> good God, man. We just had a whole conversation. <laughs> Not so did I, but it had nothing to do with us or the haircut. <laughs> Look at all this gray hair. This is. Well, that's what I Times when you get older, you know. <laughs> hey, they got a young coming in here too. My daughter's 11 and has three, 12. It has three in her head. Mm. And my girlfriend had braids her hair. She's like, you are too young to have these. It's so funny. She's like, she's stressed. <laughs> stressed at 11. School. Uh, yeah. School's tough these days. Oh my god, I mean that in between like she gets picked on and bullied. Well, it's That's always the pretty up. ones that get bullied. I don't get it. I'm joking. So are you worried y'all got a honeymoon planned out and everything? Yeah. I'm going to uh, yeah. going to Key West. You know, we were I went there for my fifth year anniversary, but not keys, I went to Miami and I well, we did go to the Keys but then we like left it because he was like, Oh no, I can't do this. What what was wrong with it? Tell me oh, please. I need some. Just, um, so the rest, I'm not gonna put them out there, but the rest, it's just like, not really big on those people. I heard it's I heard there's a lot of that out there. It's, oh tons. And but you know that's their community. The people that own it, it's their community, you know what I'm right. saying? You know, he's uh, he's like from Trinidad, so he's like you know. So they, just, whatever. they don't like stuff like that, I guess. I guess right. beliefs. Right. If you were in prison, you probably were about plenty yeah. of so For sure. Yeah. For sure. Prison's a He's lot like, like yeah, but you know, I keep myself. I was Prison. like, ah. Prison's a lot like he was in certain ways. But Miami, though, oh my God, it was like, awesome. I definitely would. I want to go back. It was so fun. I went to Florida a couple of months ago. I went to Clearwater, and it was amazing down there. Oh, yeah. We grew up in, uh, well, we didn't grow up. I lived in a couple of years. My dad's still there. Uh, he's like 30 minutes. He's Tampa. Okay, yeah, it's right outside. Which is like 30 minutes from Clearwater. Mm -hmm. But I mean, either way, you'll have fun. It's key ways, you're with your wife. I just got my driver's license back yesterday, too, after 18 years. Okay. That was How old are you? 36. Um, okay, you're young. Did you want to do that? Young, thank yeah. God. What? Yeah, my husband's 45 and he's yeah. still trying to get his back. But you know, it's a lifestyle that he lived back in the day. I mean, that was the same way. It's, it's just like your credit. They, it's easy to pull it down and hard to pull it up. Mm -hmm. Well, that's awesome. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. You and your girl got kids? or? No, not yet. I'm trying to make a couple when I go to Key West. Though. Yeah. <laughs> bring her back pregnant. <laughs> Surprise. I'd rather bring her back pregnant than take her down there pregnant. So. <laughs> there you go. I'd be mad. I'd cuss you out the whole time over there. What <laughs> happened? <laughs> you missed it, man. We got a, we got a conversation going Just on. Just like the there. other conversation you missed, too. He's like, why? Well, I missed it. <laughs> now you want to be in the conversation. I know. He's like, babies, what? Pregnant? No, I just heard dropping babies. I was like, what? You're a fucking uncle. What are you gonna do to your hair, Dave? I get a mohawk. Oh. Purple for the wedding. <laughs> or bright orange. He was like, yeah, I watched the show. I was like, oh yeah? He said, yeah. I watched that video where he uh ragged on me about my hair the haircut I Who gave. ragged on him? You, you did I? You made a whole video about how I gave you a terrible haircut and the best haircut you ever got was in prison. So I commented on it and I said, well then you can go back to prison because I'm never cutting it again. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm just shaking. I had nothing to do with it. You're like, ah, I was not in the video. <laughs> you know, that was bound to happen to me at some point, so. <laughs> hey, I apologize for that. Oh no, you were the best haircuts, didn't you know? They are, actually. Hey, look, I just watched <laughs> did I lose you as a subscriber because of that? I know I did. Yeah, you just said, that was, skirt, that was a skirt noise. I'm sorry. I'm gonna make a video and I'm gonna apologize about it. <laughs> It'll probably be part of this video, actually. <laughs> well, he just did it. He just apologized. <laughs> oh man. You know, it's not your fault though. It's my head. My head is 
Seriously, literally lots of ninety percent of the video is you going. I got dropped a lot. I got a funny shaped head. It's not their fault. <laughs> well, See, the only, the only yeah. thing with, with anybody's head is like right here is where your hair bulges out. So when people come in, they want it tapered, and it's like, well, what about this? Always grows out funny. Well, yeah, because your head is to bulge out right there. Yeah. And then it goes back in. It's like it, like an, an alien. That's how our heads are. Oh, thank you. Anybody. I, I appreciate everybody. it. Everybody. So it goes in skinny, comes out, and then it goes My out. Head is really shaped. <laughs> mm. Try to put the one over it because you're mm. barely gonna see it because you kept it long on. Oh. 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 So uh, How long you been on your Uh, just three weeks actually. No I'm kidding. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> no, we've been together for about a year, which is still pretty short, but. I felt like I've known him my whole life, so. It happened that way. Ooh, full shade. Full shade. Very sorry. Italian. You know, I got one of them ancestry things at the house. My mom. Here's the crazy thing. My mom actually got it for me. Oh. So she was like, "Hey, you know, you should take this thing." I'm like, "What is this supposed to mean? Why would my mother be giving this to me?" Yeah. But no. I, so my father, I believe he's got a little bit of Italian in him, but my. The reason for my last name, I got a Hispanic last name, and uh, my grandfather was Hispanic. Great, great, great grandfather. Oh, wow. So I honestly don't know what I am, actually. I'm white with a little bit of probably everything. I look like I'm brought back to life already. Dave, you're looking like you're getting in there, brother. Really try not to judge. <laughs> well, the good news is at least some of the grays out. Grays are good, I'm in. Makes them look just. I used to color it all the time. And are you serious? I did. I wanted to stay young forever. Well, we still can stay young with gray hair. Men get away with it better than women do. I hope I don't get on this video and you say it's the worst haircut ever. I won't Sorry. do that. I learned the lesson. <laughs> <laughs> no, both of you have cut my hair before, and you both have done I've never awesome cut your job. Hair yes, you have. Have I? Yep. He said awesome, but YouTube would be oh. a different story. It's it's YouTube, you I know. Because <laughs> you used to talk highly about like his he had a bit this. Now I don't talk about it no more. It's like, hey, you you still watching that? What show? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Did you finish that sentence or? Oh yeah. Uh, what was I about to say? <laughs> I lost my train of thought. You did a great job though. You've cut my hair, I think, once or twice before. Twice. And you did. You did great both times. I want. I'm trying to remember what I was saying. Did people in general really give good haircuts? Yeah. Like I heard like a dirty clippers and they don't clip. Yeah. Like really they don't clean them and. People break out. Okay, now I remember the video. It was called I Should Have Gotten a Prison Haircut. That was the name of the video. And I, I don't think it was you that cut my hair, though. I, that much? Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. I still give them prison haircuts at the house. Yeah, the last time I got a haircut was actually by him right there. And he used to cut while he was locked up. He's been locked up, too. Uh, yeah, where were you locked up at? He was at a sex offender camp. Yeah. Okay. They sent me, <laughs> they, they sent me there to all sex offenders. Oh, you didn't do your job? No, I didn't. They scared the shit out of me when they started touching my butt. Oh, Lord. Let me go. Oh, my God. Oh. So my Touch what you want, you're still getting stabbed, little bitch. <laughs> so, my nickname is... Um, oh, yeah, tell me your nickname. Cute butt? No, it was close. That's close. Oh, God. It's just Gay Dave. Oh. Gay Dave. That's, that's really his nickname. Yeah. He's got... A, look, we that's got fine. A, when I do hair at home, I call it Shay Gay. <laughs> But we got him a moped. I'm not got really a decal on the side that says Yay Dave. No, he doesn't. I swear he does. <laughs> Sometimes, but not all the time. I don't think it's gay as long as you're not locked you can't up. Can't like just go hang out with someone that's gay. Yeah. In jail? No. You can't. Not if you do. You fuck. Not if you want to keep your rifle tight. Right I mean, if you do. You yeah. That's perfect. You definitely took a lot of it off. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. It was a little warm. Right. So there was one guy had really nice boots. This is how I got the nickname. They were really nice. Mm -hmm. Like he paid for them. Mm -hmm. Well, he paid for them or the prison burn? No, no, he had them when he came in. 
Hmm. Okay, trams. Yeah, they were nice. Well, shit, she bought them. That's what I said. I mean, I'm not gonna. I'm sorry, but if I bought I some tits and they weren't lovely, I'd be mad as a mother. I didn't sleep with him. I just said he had nice boobs. I don't Is there understand. a lot of funny stuff that goes in? Even oh, when God. Push, right? I'll never forget when I was like 10 or 11, my cousin's boyfriend got out of jail. And being a savage little motherfucker, I asked him, I was like, so, were you someone's bitch or did you have a bitch? And everyone was like, Justin, you can't ask these questions. And I was like, is that not, is that not like a crossword? Wait, is there a lot of gay men in your family? No, me. Oh. Is your bride soon to be bride excited? Super excited. Does she have any children? No, no, no children. Oh, that's awesome. Both of you always don't have any kids. Hopefully she comes back. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Are you ready, ready to have a kid, or? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Okay. Joe would be a good father. His kids wouldn't get in trouble at all. What? Yeah. They wouldn't? Hell no. <laughs> I know that's how my kids are. <laughs> what? Joe? I don't get them. They get in trouble, Bobby. He told me I'm the worst mom ever. Good boy. He's like, you need to beat their ass. You did what? Yeah. At Good job. Punch him harder next time. Vanessa. She had this conversation earlier about how she's wearing Some little girl kept calling my daughter a slut. I said, tell her her mom's a slut. She was like, Mom, I, you can't do that. I said, the hell you can't. Mm -mm. She's so soft. I'm trying to, I don't, I want to toughen her up, but not too much. Right. You know? She's being there beating everybody up there. <laughs> it's tall. I'm like, as big as you are, but your, your mind frame's not there. Can I get something so just some product. Yeah, please. Okay. How old is your daughter? She's going to be 13 in a couple of weeks. But she's, she's so sweet. She's like, but she, if I was her size, what? I would ball you up. You know, but, I mean, I'm, she's not my size, but I'm saying like her at her small, age, she's tall, she's, tall, she's, broad. she's very like thick. I, I'd be intimidated. Guess I who? am intimidated by what? people pick on her though. Yeah, well she um so she's just... kind of special needs a little bit, but anyway. not all not all the way. This is what you should do. Tell go to school, be tell her just look. Go punch one of these people in the face. My grandma said the same thing. They, look, they won't match with you no more. Look, I'm not gonna let you outside while you're suspended from school. Just because I can't look like that type of mom, like I sent you to do this. Oh, uh -uh. I remember my cousin in like fifth grade pushed a kid down into a mud puddle because he was getting picked on. That was the last time he got picked on. The little girl that's picking on her is 4'11. My daughter is. Oh, yeah, I would pick that girl like up and body slam her. Oh, yeah, she would ball her up. <laughs> Justin, look, you did an amazing job in my hair. And I, I don't want you to take offense to that because I don't know what the hell I was talking about. I don't. There had to be something else that didn't happen. The hard part. Well, like I said, the whole video was you talking about funny shit for Yeah, you so if I'm saying that I, I should have got a prison haircut, I don't even know why I was saying that. Yeah. But you've done an amazing job on my hair before in the past. You've come in here twice. And when I come in here, you were the two people that I prefer to have. Uh, well, we always work Thursday morning, so we got you set for Thursday. Justin, I apologize. No problem, no problem. You, you came back. You came back. <laughs> And you got you got Dave looking short. Yeah, I feel good. Go to her hairstylist. Mm -hmm. That was exactly where the that video came from, where I said I should have got a prison haircut because the whole time I was making fun, saying that I looked like Pink or, or Pink or Macklemore. So it wasn't him. Even though I just tipped the I just tipped the hell out of both of them in there. But they deserve it. They're really good people. Both. Uh, the guy Justin, I don't even know the woman's name. She's cut my hair once before in the past. She did a really good job. I think she did a really good job she this time. Really hooked you up back here, bro. I'm telling you, she's she's really good. Her husband is actually at um, Wallens Ridge right now. He's a Rastafarian dude. He's got dreads. He's one of these guys who served time in the hole because he wouldn't cut his hair, and now he's at Wallens Ridge, which is a level four or five, and he's there because he won't cut his hair. And he doesn't even have four or five level charges. We got to do a little more running around. Joe's driving. Just got the fresh cut. Feeling good. How you feeling about her day? Feeling good. Checking myself out in the rear view. You, know? you feeling like you got back a little bit? Yeah. Who knew it would have took a gay guy to give me a good haircut? <laughs> One thing about it, he did a damn good job on it. Dude, he is so extra though. Golly, <laughs> he's so extra. <laughs> I mean, he's cool. I don't mean extra in a bad way. I just mean he's that, you know what I'm saying? He's so, uh, what's the word? Like flamboyant. He would be a good addition to After Prison Show. <laughs> he's a good, 
And no offense, I don't want this to be taken the wrong way, but he's the type of dude who probably would do pretty high in prison. Yeah. Oh, and real quick, I want to mention this as well, the gas. Since we filled the gas up that one day, which cost us about 50 bucks, we've only burned a half a tank of gas and we've gone 102 miles. So we're getting about 200 plus miles per full tank. I don't know if that's good or not, but that's what we're getting. And we're doing a lot of city driving. One stoplight to the next. So you guys excited for this wedding? Mm-hmm, yeah, I'm ready. I'm trying to be super cool, super mellow. <laughs> that thing sounded good, man. I wish we could catch up to him, guys. Y'all just missed it. So there's this big jacked up black diesel Dodge that just pulled up beside us and was trying to give us a run for our money. He gave, I mean, he blew us out the water, but we sounded real good riding next to him. We did, we held on for a second and he like dropped it into FU gear and. Yeah, you can't beat that torque of a diesel. No. That thing was nice, but we were nice. You know what? We ain't got no diesel. I'm proud of my truck though. Supposed to be. My God, how did my fuel just drop like that though? <laughs> I, put, I, I dumped the gas though. To the floor? I had it on the floor. You guys gonna miss me while I'm gone? Yeah. Y'all you know, took longer than that. Dave didn't even answer. Dave, I mean, you I'm, ain't gonna miss me. I mean, I'm, if you're gonna enjoy your week, I'm gonna enjoy mine too. You gonna be working? What you mean? Yeah, but. See, this is why I didn't wanna pay y'all before I left. I'm gonna do it the way I want. Oh, hell no. This ain't no democracy. Well, I guess you'll just have to not go to Key West to keep it. That's a Dodge right there. Looks, hey, that's the same one from yesterday, is it? Yep, yeah, it's the old black dude. Yeah, definitely is. Hiding in his truck. That's all he's, he he's, fo he's following us now. He's like, there's some guys right there to try to rev it up right beside me. Let me go. He's We're in the hotel room. Where are the light switch is at? There's no lights in this room. Oh my God, it's so dark in here. So it's ironic that we ended up back in the same hotel where we showed you guys the dead body couch. The couch that looked like there was somebody who had been murdered on it. I thought we were legitimately getting the same exact room and oh my God, Cody's pointing this out to me right now. Look, we got a flat screen TV, y'all. This room is not the same room. It's literally right next door to the same room. The same room is literally right next door to us. Eh. I don't know how comfortable it is. And forgive me for the way that I look. I know I look snazzy right now. I'm literally just coming from the rehearsal for the wedding. This room is a lot better. Even though we got the little box TV right there, this room does have a balcony with the beach view. This room is super sweet. And there right there is another one of those couches. At least it's got a pull out bed on it though. Got a tropical stain. Are there any stains on it, Cody? No stains, though. Well, much better room. Much better room. This is the groom's room for the night. What's the bathroom look like? Huh? It's not so bad. Bathroom actually looks a lot better. Yeah. I can't find a light switch. I'm sorry. But this is where I'll be staying tonight. And then tomorrow, I'll be getting married. Big things happen. Big things happen. Look at this view, y'all. This view. Can y'all see this? Hell of a view. Look at the beach. You can see the beach. It goes all the way around the corner. That's pretty dope. 